Welcome to Inside Out Boys with your host, Cody Bass. Arr! Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Big hello to you new subscribers. Thanks for joining us here on the old channel where we have us a lot of outboard fun. And that's what we're going to get to doing on this video. I got this 2530... It's going to be a true, absolutely true Johnny Root. Um, we got to get some things painted up, little cosmetics. We got a stab of power head. We got a and all all that stuff. That's what we're going to do in this video. What I just said. But we're going to get on this one uh, and see if we can't get it put back together. We got tiller handles to do, cables to run, starters to install, brackets to install. What else? Hoses to run. Whole bunch of outboard fun we're going to do to this little guy. Um, I think it has potential. Unlike the little cutie. She broke my heart into. I couldn't save her. Try as me might. But I ain't wrote it off 100% yet because somewhere in that pile I have a power head. Now it's had a rod throw through the size of it. But hopefully, tweets the two of them, I can put one together and get that little what I thought was a 7 perk 5 which turned out to be a 80 something 6 horse so I got one of them power heads somewhere I just gotta find it I keep looking but in the meantime we're gonna get on this one and see what we can get done to it and hopefully have a little bit better results so let's get to it <laughs> like you ain't never had lunch with your outboards. I often have lunch with outboards. They don't talk about stupid things and they don't eat much. They make fine lunch partners. You remember that 
old fiberglass boat I showed you, a friend of mine had uh, passed away and I inherited the boat. And, uh, well, so far I've taken about 50 gallons of gas that uh, Johnson that he had had a VRO tank. So the oil was separate from the motor. It was mixed VRO. So the gas in there is just straight gas. So I've been putting it in the old Taco Mama Toyota. And so far I've burned up about, well, two tanks. This will be my third tank I'm getting out of that old boat. And here in my neck of the woods, regular unleaded is $5.67 a gallon. Yep, it's going into the old taco, mama. put a layer a bead of permatex around that which I think you can see that's the high heat variety and then we're going to stab that power head or attempt to get all my stuff out the way Set up first. <laughs> So, we'll got some nuts and bolts in there, I guess. Well, you know that show Mountain Men? There's a guy on there that when they uh, do the Kodiak spots on there, his name's Mike. And uh, that's his rig. He's over here getting some propellers and such out of my bone pile. So. I'm filming your rig. Say hi, Mike. How's it going? What year is it? 1991. And the driver is on the wrong side. It drives on the wrong side. Does that cause problems for you, like turning left or... It, 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 you, you take to it just like riding a bicycle. It's no big deal at all. And it's legal. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, it's a 1991. It's got 27,000 kilometers. What's the... What's the... It was a fire truck. What's the... Home? Oh, okay. Well, you just answered yeah, it. Yeah, it was a fire truck. And uh, it's it's got... I had a little Kubota tractor on the back of here the other day. Right. And it didn't even set the springs down. I don't know what it's rated for. Oh, you can tell it's a fire... Uh, with the yeah the gold leaf yeah the gold leaf and everything yeah but I mean look at the, the what was it a fire truck in America or no in Japan Japan uh -huh. I mean look at the condition of that sir let me get a shot of Adele how's she doing she's got to be hey Adele how, she's, she's over ten she yeah. turned ten in March and hey, she uh, she's had both uh, cruciate ligaments done now let me turn that
Friday. Hey, it's me, Billy Ray. Why, I'm the best commercial fisherman in the whole North Territory. I was up at the boatyard. And I was talking to Ronald McGrown Randy. He said you were at it again. He said you were on that movie tube. He said you were making fun of commercial fishermen. Now, Billy Ray, you know I wouldn't make fun of you commercial <clears throat> professional fishermen. Heck, if it wasn't for you guys out there, you know, destroy, I mean, working so hard, uh, I wouldn't be able to pay my bills. Well, you, you that's right. You better, you better know I'm gonna look around. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sniff around. I'm gonna get on that movie too. If I see you been making fun of commercial fishermen, I'm gonna come back here. I'm gonna fix you. And I'm gonna fix you right. All right, the story I'm getting is they were all tanked down and running at night in the dark. Way out there, you can see those rocks out there around the point. They hit some of those rocks, tore a bunch of holes in it, took on quite a bit of water, and it was basically sinking. The engine that's supposedly in the boat is brand new, and it was swamped, and I'm guessing they probably used the same skiff to pull it into here. And now they've patched it, and soon they're going to try and refloat it here. And I would say that's getting pretty, pretty pretty quick because it's almost floating right now. But I guess there's another big patch toward the back of the keel. Um, I guess they use this stuff called splash zone. It's in a quick setting epoxy that'll set even in water is what I'm told. You can see uh, they're looking over the bow, looking down in, into the water to see if, probably if they see bubbles or, or if the, the stem's lifting off the bottom. They got lucky in, in a lot of ways, though. For one, the weather. It's absolutely beautiful out today.
They're floating. Well now I got this thing buttoned up good enough that we can give it a test run. Um, like I said the objective with this one is to have a pull start, electric start, rectifier, charging system and I got that all stabbed in this 92 I think it is pan and all and so I just want to go ahead and start it and make sure I've got things hooked up right and so forth so let me squeeze the bulb and do the primer that feels like gas is going in good turn on the sucker fan That's a good start, pun intended. Well, I this is the lower unit to that one in there. Um, and I've been spraying some uh, penetrating oil around this because this prop does not want to come off. And see if it did any good. It still don't look like it's really budging. I think I'm gonna get the torch and this prop's missing a big old chunk here anyway, so I don't think it's it'd make a good backup prop that's about it
Boy, she won't budge, Harley. If I can get down in there a little bit and get close. Well, you can see I'm getting a little bit of space up under and in behind that propeller. I've got the, uh, see, I've got a little bit of space right in here. And uh, I put some more heat on it. And I'm just slowly working it. I think what I'm going to do now. I'm not going to force it anymore. I'm going to, with that, with those screwdrivers worked in there, like that, right there, I think I'm just going to go ahead and get me some more potion and squirt in there. And, uh, with that little bit of pressure on there, I'll see if putting some more penetrating oil in there, don't, and let it sit overnight and see if it'll pop on off there without breaking anything. I'll be back. Well, I just wanted to start that engine and so forth and make sure the toothed flywheel that I had, uh, it's an older one, but I needed that toothed flywheel for two reasons. One, so I could put electric start on it, and two, so I could use the older style recoil unit on it. And that seems to function just fine. So, um, once I get my lower unit decided on, because if you notice, there was no PP coming out of that outboard. That's because it don't have a lower unit on it yet. Um, so once I get my lower unit situation squared away, I still got to probably do some wire wheeling, sand and prime and painting and all that. Um, so I got a little bit more to go on that one, but uh, we'll get it. We'll get there. But uh, as always, you never, ever, ever, know what's gonna pop into this little old shop here so that's gonna be a wrap on this and as always I want to thank you for watching one more hack from Kodiak more vids are coming on inside outboards with your host Cody Bass